Welcome back. Two years ago, the Miami Dolphins and South Florida lost a giant. Jason Jenkins was the bridge between the Dolphins franchise and the community it represents. But now, his wife has stepped up to carry on his legacy. Recently, I sat down with her to talk about life, faith, and carrying the torch. When Jason Jenkins died two years ago, the Dolphins needed someone to step into his huge shoes and lead their enormously successful Dolphins Cancer Challenge. So, team president Tom Garfinkel approached Jenkins' widow. What are your thoughts about maybe taking over his board chair? <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a, little, that's a little much. So what convinced you? I went to church and my pastor gave a very impassioned speech about um, if God keeps bringing something into your life, maybe you should say yes. Elizabeth Jenkins took on the role. At first, returning to Hard Rock Stadium where her husband had collapsed and died of a blood clot at age 47 was tough. So when I would walk up to the stadium, I would look up at his window and I will be honest, I, I looked for him. I was hoping that he would be there. The Dolphins have been a cocoon of support for Jenkins and her three young children. In return, she has become every bit the community advocate her late husband was. The Dolphins Cancer Challenge bonds people by the sense of loss that cancer inevitably brings. Jenkins believes her own loss prepared her for this role. I think people are comfortable talking to me because I really wear my emotions on my sleeve. I have no problem talking about the uncomfortable things. Um, death is a very uncomfortable topic for a lot of people. I'm comfortable talking about people's grief. What do you tell them? Life is not always roses and rainbows. Sometimes you're gonna go through some seasons of life where things are hard. Jenkins admits it has not been an easy road. She saw how her husband had the ear of the Dolphins billionaire owner, Stephen Ross, and also the eye for seeing what the community needed. This year's Jason Jenkins Day of Service will land on what would have been his 50th birthday. He believed Miami's quilt of diverse communities could be connected in meaningful ways. Do you have, share that belief? I do, I do. I mean, I am multiracial. You know, my father is white, my mom is Korean, my kids are black. Like, I know it is a lot. You know, I think there's uniquenesses that you have to highlight. I think that's a good thing. Um, I think there are way more things that we have in common with each other than different. At a public tribute to her husband two years ago, Elizabeth Jenkins challenged everyone there to channel her husband's giving spirit. Now she sees her words from that day in an even bigger light. I wonder if his passing was a moment that was passing the torch to others to start taking it on on their own. We're in an area that maybe they never thought they could. Including you. Including me. Yeah. Including me. Yeah. The Jason Jenkins Day of Service is this Wednesday. To find out more about how to participate, here's all you have to do. Email footballunites at dolphins.com. She is such an inspiration. What a powerful woman. And really just um, how she's taken tragedy and turned it into a way to bless other people. Beautiful, beautiful story. Thank you very much. And certainly she is very strong. I think she's strong for her kids and mm. she wants to be a great example for them, which clearly she is. And she sees Jason uh, in her kids right now, obviously. Yes. And so they're all finding and forging this path together. It is uh, great to see. And you can see more of my chat with Elizabeth Jenkins on Miami Live, streaming on CBSMiami.com, and also tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. on CW Miami 33.